Hello everyone, today we're going to review and try these exotic flavors of Oreos. We have a couple from Korea and then the rest I believe are from China or Taiwan. Some of these flavors are self-explanatory, but some of them are pretty interesting like the double flavors. I'm excited to try that and I'm especially excited to try the fig because I love fig and fig flavored things. We're going to start with strawberry. And I thought it was going to come in a tray for some reason, but they actually come in two packs, which is better. So you're not opening a whole pack. The strawberry one is from Korea and it's not the Oreo Thins. Um, I prefer the Oreo Thins, but honestly, I don't even eat a lot of Oreos to begin with. But I'm going to open it. So it's like a light pink in the middle. And this one, it just tastes like a basic strawberry cream Oreo. It's good, but it's not amazing. It's decent. I am a hard critic, so maybe some of you guys would like it. I don't dislike it though. And here is the fig. They're packaged pretty tight with a lot of air, probably so that they don't break. I'm really excited to try this one. It's Oreo Thins, which I prefer. On the inside, just like the picture, it's like a pale green with little specks of pink. Honestly, it's not that great. It doesn't really taste like fig. It doesn't taste like much at all. So a little disappointed. Here is the peach. This one, when you take a bite, it smells like peach a lot. But the taste is okay. It's a little floral for some reason. Now on to the fresh cream or white cream. This one it says, white cream on the packaging. This one is also Oreo Thins, which I prefer. And the taste of this just tastes like a basic Oreo, same as you would normally eat an Oreo thin. I have not been impressed by the first four, so let's get to the other four. I'm going to try next the matcha. It does say cool on the package on the matcha, so I'm not sure what that means. Somebody let me know what this says on the packaging because I can't read it. Maybe it's mint, I'm not sure. But it does say matcha, so let's try it out. It does have like a minty taste to it, like a fresh, cool taste. So maybe it's matcha and mint, not sure. Next is rose. It tastes a little fragrant, like perfumey, so not my favorite. It's okay. Next one is the double flavor, the raspberry and blueberry, which I'm excited to try, but I want to show you the inside first. So it has two different colors, pink and purple. Oops, and I'm gonna give that a try. And surprisingly, I sort of liked this one. I like fruity flavors, and this one doesn't taste floral or anything like that. So I would say this one is probably the best so far. Not that it's amazing, but not bad. Lastly, I have the green grape and peach flavor. We're gonna try that. This one has a cool design on one side. I'm not sure if the other ones did and maybe I didn't notice, but I don't think so. I think it's just this one with the cool different design on one of the sides. The inside is a light green and a pink. And the taste is, it's okay. I think the blueberry and raspberry was better. This one, you can taste the grape a little more than the peach, but it's just okay. I had my little taste tester come in and give it a try. He tried just a couple bites of the strawberry and I guess he wasn't impressed. He started to help me organize the leftover cookies. I don't know, maybe we both just weren't Oreo enthusiasts. <laughs> we don't eat a lot of them, but... If I had to choose, I would pick the raspberry and blueberry combo. And the rest were just so-so. And I also prefer Oreo thins in general, because I don't like the cream in between. But hey, we gave it a try. Would you give these a try? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Thank <laughs> you.